corespondență. În viitorul apropiat, omenirea ar putea răspunde la marea întrebare. Există sau nu viață pe alte planete ale sistemului nostru solar? Și dacă există, sub ce formă am putea să o găsim? Este părerea cunoscutului fizician și cercetător Brian Cox, celebru pentru numeroase documentare în care abordează misterele Universului. Profesorul Cox a fost unul dintre cercetătorii care au descoperit bosonul Higgs, cunoscut sub denumirea de Particula lui Dumnezeu. Acum își concentrează eforturile pentru a descoperi ce secrete ascund găurile negre ale Universului. Brian Cox urmează să ajungă la București în aprilie în cadrul turneului său Horizons. I think one of the one of the most fascinating questions is whether there is life beyond Earth in the solar system. And we have a we have a mission on Mars at the moment, the the Mars Sample Return Mission which is an aim to go and get samples from Mars, bring them back to see if there's life below the surface on Mars. We have two spacecraft, one on the way to Europa in orbit around Jupiter and one about to be launched to Europa because we think that world has an ocean which has got more wa water than all the oceans of the Earth combined. And again, so we're interested in life. So in the next few decades, I'd be very interested to know if we are alone in the solar system. Professor, NASA is trying to find habitable planets uh, outside our solar system. Uh, the question is, even if we find similar planets to Earth, how do we go there? Well, I, I mean, I, it's, <laughs> it's beyond our current technology. I mean, even the nearest star, uh, Alpha Centauri, is four light years away. We think there are planets around that star. Four light years. That's, that's so far beyond our capability that, I mean, it, it may be that we'll never be able to travel across those distances. I mean, in, in terms of the laws of nature, we can. You, you don't have to travel, you know, you could travel close to the speed of light, and then from your perspective in the spacecraft, you can get there extremely quickly. Um, but we, you know, whether you can do that in an engineering sense is anybody's guess. Professor, what is the biggest mystery in the universe you would like to solve? The deepest mysteries, you know, some of my research is into black holes. There are very deep, deep questions about what space and time are which are being which are coming to us from the study of black holes i mean the idea that there might be building blocks of space and time there might be a deeper theory from which space and time emerge i think it's just fascinating and this is very very new research that's going on now do you think that maybe one day it would be possible to travel uh, maybe in the future we travel into the future all the time And the question is, uh, can, can, can we travel into the future more quickly? And the answer is yes. So uh, just in pure Einstein's theory of relativity, just his 1905 theory of special relativity, if, you, if, if I was to set off now from the Earth, close to the speed of light, and fly around for a while, and then come back to the Earth, I would come back in your future, a long way in your future. I could come back a million years in the future, or a billion years in the future. In Wonders of the Universe, Professor, you answered the question, where do we come from, or what created us? You have a very interesting theory. Yes, so, so if, if you look at, your, look at your hand now, let's say, just, look at, just focus in on, on the palm of your hand, then in there, that, that's made of atoms. And there are atoms of um, the water, for example, so the water molecules, the oxygen, in those water molecules was built in stars. The, it, very close to the Big Bang, before any stars had, had existed and ignited in the universe, there was no oxygen, there was no carbon, there was no iron, the iron in your, that make your, makes your blood red, that did not exist. So it was made in stars. And then the stars die and they, they, they distribute those, those newly created elements out into the universe. And then they ultimately, over time, collapsed under gravity to form our solar system and found their way into you. So it's, it's absolutely true that, um, that everything in you, apart from the hydrogen in, in things like the water, everything else was made in stars. And the hydrogen was made very close to the Big Bang. So it's um, it's a, it's a beautiful idea that we are we are part of the universe in a very profound way because we are made from pieces of the universe.